He did well. Um, it, it was just a lapse in defence where the player should be tracking his, his player result into that goal. And he, you, you know, you call the goal a great goal based on the, the, the execution. But stats, you know, wanted it more. And you notice the last four Manning Cup, they have been into the last, um, the last four Manning Cup, they have been to the semi-final. And during that time, I think they have been to two finals. So they are a consistent bunch. Wilmers on the other hand, it's a long-term development. I mean, I'm in the Elm for a little over three months. And what, you know, I have done over that short period, you know, it's more than amazing. The youth have done well. Obviously, you still have one more game to go, um, and then you will turn your attention to even to try to get some silverware still at the walk up. In terms of when you overall assessed in terms of the, the progress that you made, what positives can you take in terms of from this run going into a chase for silverware? Yes, there, there's always a lot of positive, but, um, you know, generally the team need to learn the system of play, and it, it doesn't happen overnight. It's just like in a classroom and you are doing well in maths, but you're, you're falling short in English. So you're going to take, you know, a little more extra time, um, extra class to ensure that you're, you're, um, you're improving that era. It's the same thing as it relates to football. Um, you will have to spend a lot of time in terms of your development and then things will eventually flourish as you go along. Um, still, if, we, if we can give a grade so far for the season, the season's not done yet, but in terms of three months into the job, how would you grade it? Well, uh, maybe you can give them, you know, um, overall 70% based on where they, they, they started. Well, that's a lot of All right, All right. All right. All right. Um, Coach, obviously speak to us about the absence of one, um, Jawani Bell from the midfield. I think that would have affected how you guys performed today. Talk to us about his... Well, well, that's a youngster, talented youngster. Um, broke his arm on his, on his birthday, which was the 11th of October. And... Uh, he, he always want to, to, to be one of them that will be given another chance to, you know, to continue. But despite all of that, you know, it's a, it's a learning process for him and a work in progress also. And he's one for the future. All right, coach. Um, obviously, you know, the Manning Cup is done and dusty, but you guys still play in another competition. You know, I spoke to your captain. He, did, he seemed very dejected. How do you go about getting your guys back up and ready for the Walker Cup? Well, we, are, we, are, we have um, a, a few days, and when I say a few, meaning basically 48 hours to the next game, and after that we will have to plan going forward. But one of the things that we still, you know, um, face with is the amount of injuries where the medical staff, that include the physio and the doctor, still you know, have to be working overtime. Yeah, your boys really, really improved upon their last performance, you know. I think that's something to build upon. Speak about your thoughts on, on that. Well, 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 based on what they, they displayed today, you know, it, it's a different game compared to the first one. And you see, we're in that, they, they wanted it more. But in the end, you know, stats came out winners. All right, coach. Thank you again. Better luck in the, the, the Walker Cup. All right.